lot today. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one I'm kind of excited about, very excited about. So this video is going to be about how to drop a business plan, business plan, business plan, right? So when you're starting your business, they're always going to ask you when you ask for loans or stuff, um, what's your business plan? So first off, take out a sheet of paper, right? Get a sheet of paper out and type down first line, first letter, goals. What are your goals? And the thing about goals is you can put anything in there. My goal is I want to fly. Well, okay, it's probably not gonna it's probably not gonna happen, right? Or I want to make a trillion dollars my first year. Okay, so we need to be realistic with your goals, right? So say your first year, right? You want to make 25% of what you made at your paycheck to paycheck job, right? That that's a realistic goal. Or another realistic goal could be I want to have Thursdays off. I want to work this many hours a week, right? I want to make this much an hour. Um, goals like that, right? Um, when I drew up my first business plan, all I wanted to do was to make $22 an hour. That was basic, right? Basic, um, you know, and that, that's fine. Now, big, now you got your goal, right? You got your big goal. It's the first line, big lettering, you know. Matter of fact, highlight that goal. That is your goal for your first year, right? Now your business plan. Your business plan, you need to take some time, sit down, and really think about it, right? So let's say, um, let's say you started a printing company, right? So your goal is, uh, I want to have 25 reoccurring accounts every month, right? So now you're talking about you want to print for like print shops, you want to print magazines, you want to print brochures, uh, you know, business cards for for a company that's a repeat customer, right? So that's going to be our our example right so now we have uh, this printing company right and your business plan is you want to have all them customers right so you now you go down to step two business plan how are you going to get there so let's say this right your first business plan is right you need to buy um, or make since your printing company you probably can make these make flyers get your name out right there's a couple ways to get your name out um, there is a couple different ways. Uh, a lot of it is um, door to door. Door to door works very good with service industries, just because um, it's simple. Uh, for example, is a printing company, right? Uh, let's just say door to door, more business to business kind of door to door. So maybe go shop downtown and go talk to the manager. You know, a great thing to say is have a script ready, like um, knock on knock on the the office. I don't know. I guess. Let's just say you walked into an antique shop, right? You go to the front desk, you say, hi, can I speak to your manager? And they said, okay, get your manager, you know, like, go get them, whatever, not a big deal. And you say, hi, my name is so-and-so from so-and-so's printing shop. You know, I was wondering if you needed any services involving any brochures, like business cards, or flyers. You know, that would be a great business model, right? And then you let them talk a bit, make sure, you know, they, oh yeah, they're gonna ask questions about pricing and things like that, and try to be as tentative as possible. All right, All right, bug. So um, try to be as tentative as possible as you can to uh, their needs. So what you need to do is uh, after you get them, you know, they're interested, you need to have some sort of information ready, right? So make sure you write that in your business plan. You need to make information brochures or packets, right? Step one, that's how you get your customers. Get customers, business number one. And uh, then you go into a little further detail of how to get those customers, right? Now we get to step two of your business plan, right? Uh, step two might be to you know, material costs, right? How much is it going to cost to buy toner, uh, the paper, the printer if you don't have one, um, you know, things like that, shipping, delivery, all that. That's where you need to make your material costs. Make sure you get all your materials mapped out and then you can figure out what works best, right? And now now you have your, your basic couple customers. I'm not going to say you hate your 25 customers your first door to door. If you do, congratulations to you, you're a step ahead of the game, but most times you'll get a couple, right? So now after you figure out what your material cost is, right, you need to go to the third one, right? Learning how to print, what works best. Um, kind of a simplification would be to find out what is efficient. So, you know, printing stuff, you know, try to try to kind of figure out in your head, think of the problems that you might, you know, hinder your company from succeeding and try to work with those and try to make those better right from the get-go. So maybe your problem would be like, 
oh, my printer can only print so much a day, or I can only print so much a day, or I have limited time because I'm in a college student. I'm going, you know, things like that, right? So figure those out. And then now, now you have your customers, step one. Step two is all your materials, so you know how much things are going to cost, that kind of stuff, your materials. And three, you know how you're going to print them, you know how to solve the common problems, a little bit of troubleshooting here and there, um, you know, address like if, if something breaks down, how can you continue to be in business? Um, maybe not right away, but you might want to think about having more printers at one time or something like that. Um, now you get to step four, right? Step four is marketing. Marketing is the most psychological crazy thing. Uh, it's a whole new paradigm that you will have to learn how to experience. What I mean by a new paradigm is that it is a world by itself. So uh, when you're in this new paradigm of advertising, a lot of it is psychology, and uh, most guys that are, you know, you're in your service injuries, things like that, uh, you won't know the psychology of how to get customers, what works best, and what doesn't. And that is completely fine, right? I didn't know either when I started my landscape company. If you guys have been watching my uh, videos in the past, we do a lot of door-to-door -door flyers, hands out, things like that. Um, you know, for us, which is really good is the GIE Expo and then uh, the home, like home shows. Those are really good for us. For printing. Might be a little harder. Uh, let's say you need to get you need to get your name in front of things. So join the chamber of commerce. Um, get some ads out. You know, and ads can be expensive. I'm going to show you an example here, right? This is my actual ad that's in the paper. Um, it's going to be very simple, very sweet. I'll kind of go through it. So now we're in marketing, right? So you write up that you need to have a budget for marketing in your step four. So I'm going to take you here and right there. Elite Stone Landscaping, that's our actual ad. Uh, this is for our snow removal. Uh, very basic and sweet. There is some pricing in there, but it doesn't actually say a set price. These classified ads are awesome to get into. Uh, they're usually really cheap. In bigger cities, they can range for $100 uh, for a month or sometimes $150. Uh, this is in the Jamestown catalog. For me, uh, it cost me $50 a month to keep this in here, and it pays off. A lot of, a lot of older customers see this. Um, that's another thing. Very briefly, because I know I don't want to get this video too long, we're going to talk about what works and what doesn't. In my experience, uh, for the service industry, for me, um, people are saying that you nowadays everything's going online, which is true, but not exactly as quick as we think it is, right? I tried all online advertising on Google, Facebook, stuff like that, and I realized it works really good with the younger generations, but the older generation, I wouldn't say like, you know, people are in their 50s and 60s as of 2017, 2018, those people, right? They're still used to reading a newspaper every morning. So that's why the newspaper is great uh, because some of the older older customers you see will read the newspaper in the morning and see your ad. Uh, also advertising Google, things like that. So that's some tips into um, getting to your first customers, right? So step one, you guys got your, you know, you got your couple uh, customers. Uh, so you got your step two down, uh, you got all your material costs, step three, you know how to print everything, you kind of got all that set up, step four, you got your marketing out there, right? Now step five, right? Step five um, is kind of a, for, my, for me, it was a really hard task to overcome, right? Step five is, you know, the legality of things. You need to, you know, make sure you have all the proper licensing, registration, that kind of stuff. Some people say that step one, yes it is, uh, first, like step one, um, if you're writing up a business plan, right, you need to make sure that you have all your legal stuff taken care of, your basic stuff. I'm not talking about like your registration with the state or things like that. This is after that. So after you have all those registrations and with that, so you're, like, your business is legal in the state and with the federal, you are under, you're in accordance with them. This is more like you know, what do you need to uh, take care of your property, you know, like insure the printers, insure your stock, you know, to, like things like that. That's kind of what I'm talking about there. So make sure you have all your legal stuff and you make sure you get legal advice, you know. Another thing too is what I really recommend, I hope it never happens to you, but you should talk to an attorney about having proper contracts written up, right? You can go online and find many templates of contracts and stuff. But it's the little things that you don't know that can get you in a lot of trouble in, this, in a, any business, right? What you don't know is what can really hurt you. So um, make sure you talk to an attorney uh, after you have some samples, some things you have written up, right? And just go talk to them and say, they'll recommend adding this and that and other things to just protect yourself for when you get into a lot of business contracts. Um, 
So after you have your your, your business plan is, is pretty much done. That's called a, a you know a, a very very basic business plan. I've seen business plans that are 20, 30 pages long. This is your basic business plan. Like just get the ideas on paper, right? Now you got that all taken care of. Write a conclusion underneath it, right? And under your conclusion, write why you want to be in here doing this. You need your passions. So what I always tell people, write down that you want to work less. You want to make more money, more financial freedom. You want to spend more time with your family. Uh, some people, like me, I'd love to spend more time with my daughter. That That's awesome. So um, we're kind of hanging out tonight. Uh, mom's at... Um, uh, mom's at college still, so uh, me and Bug are taking some, some nice quality time eating her her uh, <laughs> cinnamon toast crunch till till mom gets home. Um, but yeah, so things like that. <laughs> but so why don't you get your business plan all written up? You know, make sure you have it somewhere where you can see it. It's available. So what I did with mine is I actually have it on my desk in a frame. So every time I sit down my desk to do billing and paperwork, it's always there. When I look at it, I see it, I'm like, okay, uh, I wrote this business plan, you know, like November, right? My business went uh, into, you know, it finally opened January 1st, and then about June I looked at it and made sure that I was really hitting all of those goals. So that's pretty simple. It's a five-step business plan. It's pretty much just have your five basic steps. That is going to really get you set apart because, you know, it's true. 80% of businesses do fail, okay? Mine hasn't. Uh, my dad's has My dad's been in business for uh, uh, 20, 21 years now. I think he's been in business. I've been in uh, business for uh, a little over a year now. And there's a reason why that people stay in business, people don't. It's because people that have these strategies in place do better. If you have a business plan written up, you have all your stuff, you have your goals, and you have to be passionate about what you do. Um, so in a later video, we'll talk about employees and stuff like that. You need to have employees that are just as passionate about your job as you are about it. That makes life so much simpler because they understand what the end game is and stuff like that. But this is pretty basic. Uh, if you haven't yet, please uh, hit the subscribe button and like this video and share it with your friends. That's the best way to get the word out, get people talking about how to start your business at a young age. I'm 19 years old. I'm not wasting my youth uh, partying, doing drugs, things like that, which I've seen so many high school kids do while we're in college. I am in college, um, but it's awesome. I'm not wasting my youth, and you shouldn't either. When you're young, it's the best time to do this stuff, because then by the time you know you jump through all the hoops, you'll be old and wise, and be happy, and you have more financial freedom. And that's what we're here all about. We're here to make you have a better life for yourself. So if uh, you like this video, uh, if you have any other questions about this video, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them as fast as I can. Make sure you guys keep up with this. This video um, was a little, I guess, set on an example of printing. I don't own a printing company, so use that example um, as an example. Don't 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 follow it strict, strict, strict. Uh, the thing about a business plan is awesome is they are so flexible. You can literally write them about anything, and um, you know that's a basic five-step business plan. You probably should, after you get it written down, try to add to it. The more you add to it, the more vivid you get about it. The more deep thought you'll have into it and then you'll actually get into this new new mindset, a business mindset. And once you're in this business mindset, you will accomplish and be so much more successful. So if you haven't and you want to know a little bit more about landscaping, please go back and look at my landscaping videos. If you want to know about snow removal, snow, it is October now, halfway through October. It will be snowing before we know it and I'll have snow videos coming out like crazy the next couple months. So if you guys are looking forward to a lot of snow removal, deep in depth, how to get the best cut, most money out of it, uh, <laughs> make make your average pickup into an awesome snow pile that will pay for itself right away and make, put more money in your pocket, please subscribe. And that's, that, that's pretty much it. It's awesome to have your own business. Look forward to hearing from you guys. So have a wonderful night. Thanks.